All right, so in this video, I'm going to talk about the use of nicotine as a nootropic. It's kind of a hot thing right now in the nootropics community. And there's two main questions that really got to be addressed first. One of them, is there a real cognitive benefit to using nicotine, or is it just something that's confounded by people who are addicted to nicotine getting their fix and then getting back to baseline? And then two, is there an addictive potential to using nicotine by itself? Because this is how people are advocating using it. Nobody's saying that you should smoke cigarettes. So, the first question is actually not too hard because it, it, it is confounded, but uh, there has been a lot of research done. And uh, it actually seems that, that there is a real effect. There was, I actually found a meta-analysis that was done was over 40 different studies where they were able to find people who were either not smokers or they were able to establish that people were, were not really going through nicotine withdrawal and they still got an effect. And it, nicotine has, has been studied a lot and there's, there's been a lot of studies well, like I said, there was over 40 studies that they found to fit the criteria, so it, it does seem uh, that there, there is uh, an effect. The meta-analysis found that there were multiple areas of cognition that were enhanced by nicotine, including uh, working, well, at, at least the reaction time on a working memory test, uh, short-term uh, episodic memory was enhanced, multiple measures of attention, fine motor control. It, it is a pretty well-established uh, cognitive enhancer or nootropic. That's kind of what I'm going to get to in a sec, the difference between those two. But um, So there is an effect. And actually, you know, compared to a lot of things that people are using as nootropics now, it's got more of an effect, uh, as far as we can see, than a lot of, you know, it's got, I should say, more of an established effect. It's been more clearly shown than, you know, even like a lot of the racetams. So, you know, it can be useful. Now, the second question is, do you run into this addiction potential when you're using pure nicotine as opposed to, let's say, cigarettes? And this is a little bit harder to find a clear answer to. There's, uh, you know, a lot of people who are proponents of using nicotine as a nootropic, and they're saying, no, there's, like, almost no real addiction to potential, uh, addiction potential when you're using pure nicotine. Now, I'm a little bit skeptical, and I was uh, kind of hard-pressed to find a good, solid source that was saying this. A lot of people were saying it, but... Um, I'm, I know there was a Scientific American article that talked about it. That was probably one of the higher quality sources, but still, you know, I would have liked to find more high quality sources. There's just, you know, I, I think that, you know, people probably, well, let me say this. Clearly, tobacco smoke, this is one thing that everybody can agree on. Tobacco smoke is more addictive than pure nicotine. We can say that. Um, but nicotine has some potential. I mean, I think people are just downplaying it a little too much. Um, the short story of this is, like, I, I, I hesitate to give you a clear answer um, about how addictive it is or isn't. And, of course, there's personal, you know, genetic factors that come to play. So I'm going to err on the side of caution and say you should probably be careful with it. Um, I wouldn't use it every single day if you want to use it. I would, uh, I mean, I personally use nicotine as a nootropic, and I only use it like once or twice a week. And you might be able to get by with more than that, I don't know. But um, that's just my personal recommendation uh, from what I looked at. You know, like I said, it was hard to find a clear answer. If you, if you know anybody who's been addicted to nicotine, it's something that you don't want to be addicted to. So basically, don't don't flirt with that, you know. So, what I mentioned, what I, alluded, I mentioned briefly earlier that uh, there's this difference between cognitive enhancers and nootropics. And for nicotine, 
Uh, I would have to say that it's a cognitive enhancer. So just to go back to that, a uh, cognitive enhancer is basically what it sounds like. It's anything that can enhance cognition. Now, a nootropic, I, you know, it, the term's kind of getting thrown around more and more and it's losing a lot of its original meaning, but I'm kind of old school where I believe that part of the definition of a nootropic is not just that it's possibly cognitive enhancing, but that it's safe and even something that can preserve cognitive function and be, you know, neuroprotective. It's something that you could use most days, uh, maybe, you know, take a break. It's you know, it's smart to do that, but you can use it for days and weeks and months at a time without a problem. I would definitely hesitate to consider nicotine a nootropic in that sense. So I'm going to classify it as a cognitive enhancer, not a nootropic. And like I said, I use it, and I haven't had any problems with it, but I exercise caution. Um, I use it in, a, in one of those vape pens, and I use... Um, the very lowest concentration of the nicotine solution and uh, you know I get an effect from that and uh, you know I'm like I said I only use it once or twice a week and it works I mean it really does I mean it, it's got an instant effect and I've not really had any addiction problems with that I can take it or leave it but just uh, just uh, exercise caution tread carefully my friends you know, and, and you know, maybe it'll turn out to be that it is pretty harmless, but I, I would just, I would just be careful until more research is done on this, because as much research has been done on nicotine, I think we need to do more to investigate this uh, use of nicotine by itself, and be, so, yeah, I mean, I'll just leave it at that. Um, means it's effective, but just be careful with it. So, uh, you know, let me know uh, if uh, any of you use this and what kind of experiences you have. Uh, have. Have you know anybody who's gotten addicted to nicotine just using nicotine by itself without smoking it or whatever? Um, like I said, I've, I've had good experience, so um, I don't know. Just let me know. Till next time, uh, be safe and um, have fun.